about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm back with another travel vlog for you today and I'm coming to you from the city of Gothenburg in Sweden. It's my first time here. I'm here on a weekend break with my partner and also a couple of friends and we booked this trip through BA Holidays, which I've spoken to you about many times. I find it a really convenient way to book European city breaks quite reasonably and I'll do a little video, I think, separately as to how I book them to get kind of like the cheapest price and the best deals in the nicest hotels and I will be sharing with you the cost of this trip at the end of the video so do stay tuned for that I'll give you a breakdown of all the costs I think it's really good value one so we're here for two nights we flew from Heathrow with BA holidays you do get luggage allowance the flight was I think one hour 35 so really quick so we flew at 3 p.m. and got here around 6 p.m. because of the one hour time difference so it's very dark when we arrived hotel we're staying at is the Radisson Blue River side which is situated across the water from the city center and you actually take a free ferry back and forth to the city center which I thought looked really fun which is one of the reasons why I went for this hotel also the hotel looked lovely so I'll give you a bit of a room tour shortly and as soon as we checked in we went up to the spa there is a spa area which I'll show you in a little bit as well that has rooftop spa pools it has some indoor spa pools as well a sauna so really really nice that's all complimentary if you're staying in this hotel and there's also a really nice bar and restaurant kind of just off the lobby so when we arrived we went to the spa had a little relax up there and then went for a lovely dinner in the restaurant which is called the cuckoo restaurant and it's kind of science themed we're here next to a science museum I think so I think it's got that kind of theme in this area the food was great I had a cheeseburger and chips um, it's kind of like a classic hotel style food menu and in terms of the price points it was I guess slightly on the pricey side actually but for a hotel restaurant it was kind of average I think it was about 16 pounds for a burger and chips I think it is meant to be quite pricey here so I'll keep you updated on some of the prices as we go around but yeah had a really lovely dinner and just went for a bit of a stroll and had a reasonably early night slept really well the bed is very comfortable and then went down for some breakfast this morning now the breakfast here I was very impressed with. There is a really, really good range of different foods, lots of nice healthy bits. There's lots of um, fish available as well. There's things like smoked salmon, um, smoked salmon in kind of like a nice mayonnaise with dill. There was um, different herrings. I tried them all and they were all delicious. I think this area is quite famous for its fish. So I wanted to enjoy that this morning. And they also do things like omelettes that they can cook for you. And there was fruit, also ginger shots, which I love. And I feel like that's kickstarted me for the day. Um, green juices, everything. So really, really impressed with the breakfast. Literally loads and loads of choice down there. And yeah, got a busy day of sightseeing ahead, which I'm very excited about. We've booked to go on one of those bus tours that then becomes a boat tour. So it's like a bus that goes into the water. Very excited to do that later on. And there's an area called Haga. Um, it's meant to be quite historic and has lots of cute shops and things. I think we'll go for a little look around there. So what we'll do now is jump in for a tour of the room. And also I'll pop in a bit of footage of the spa that I just shot this morning. And then, um, yeah, it'll be time to start our day of sightseeing. Do subscribe if you're new here for brand new videos every single week. And like this video if you find it useful. And I hope you enjoy this little look around Gothenburg with me. So as you come in, you have some coat hooks, which I always love to see. Often hotel rooms don't have coat hooks and I do find them really handy. And a nice big full length mirror. And then I really like the design of this hotel room. So we have an open plan um, wardrobe with lots of hangers, the ironing boards in there, a little shelf and storage above. And then another full length mirror. And then we have this kind of open plan sink area. So this goes straight through this um, glass panel that does have a curtain <laughs> to the room. Really nice big spacious sink. You've got your hair dry down there. And I love a sink where you can lay out all your products and have plenty of space. So this is fab. And some nice little, these look like molten brown, don't they? Nice little toiletries. The um, Radisson's own brand. We've got a body wash, body lotion, and a shampoo there, and a conditioner, and a little vanity kit. And then through this sliding door, we have the bathroom with shower. I would have liked a bath, but never mind. I think when you're on a short trip like this, it's not really time for baths. 
<laughs> but I do like to see a bath in a hotel room. And some hooks here as well, it's always good when you're getting changed. Um, a couple of towels up there. Yeah, all very clean and lovely. I really like the design of this. I think it just feels kind of quite big and spacious, but also cosy at the same time. And then here we have a little um, stool, and then we have a little coffee making area. Kettle, tea, coffee, hot chocolate, and some glasses. We have a fridge, and then moving around, really nice, huge bed that I think could be split into twins if you wanted to. Yeah, with the nice bedside tables, plugs by the um, bed, which I always like to see. And look, I've just spotted pumpkin and mittens. Fancy seeing them up here. And then the TV over here. It's also got a mirror, so there's lots of mirrors <laughs> in this room. A safe here, and it's kind of, what would you call that? I'm not sure what you'd call this thing. It's kind of like a little, a unit of some sort. It's got plugs on it. Safe is a decent size. Little table and an armchair in the corner. Yeah, really nice. Love it. So I'm just up on the top of the hotel where we have fantastic views all over Gothenburg. Behind me you can see this really impressive, very, very tall tower. And last night we went for a little wander around the area, around the hotel. So you can kind of walk down here to the water where you can pick up the ferry. And we kind of walked all the way around. There's a, I think it's a science museum just over here. Loads of modern art sculptures, really interesting place. And if I take you down this way, there is a fantastic spa here which is just on the other side of this glass. And there's also an outdoor hot tub with fantastic views across the water and a rooftop bar up here. Yeah, you get really lovely views. I'm up here bright and early, so the sun is still coming up. So it is time to start our day of sightseeing with a trip on the ferry across to the city centre. As it was bright and early on Sunday morning, we did have to pay for the ferry. I think it was around £3 one way, but throughout the week, throughout kind of working day hours, the ferry is free and goes back and forth every 10 minutes or so. Well, they do not hang about here. The ferry leaves bang on time. So you will have to literally be there at the split second um, it is timed for. And also it whizzes across the water. I think we're gonna be across the water in literally probably four minutes. There is also an inside area on the ferry in case it is raining, of course. This was such a fun way to start the day. You do see quite a lot of different things from the ferry and yet it's really, really quick. So highly recommend taking that. And then from there, you're just a few minutes walk into the city centre itself. So it's a great place to have a look around, have an explore. It was Sunday morning, so it was a little bit quiet, which was lovely. So it is time to take the ocean bus. So the ocean bus tour is a 55 minute tour that takes you around the city centre by bus and then the ocean bus plunges into the water so then you get a bit of a river cruise as well. It's around £25 and you book it online or you can book it outside the bus. You need to be here 20 minutes before it goes and then it's a 55 minute tour. So I think maybe a really quick way just to kind of get your bearings and see some of the city. So I'm very excited. It's got really good reviews on TripAdvisor. It's highly rated, highly recommended. So it should be good fun. Hello everyone, welcome aboard. Well, that was a lot of fun. I would highly recommend that. It was really interesting. There was quite a nice mix of kind of history and then fun. They were kind of playing songs in between. Lots of interesting facts around the city as well. So not all historical ones. There was also facts about 
things like the bus boat itself. It's a Ford truck that was then converted into a boat in America and then shipped back here to become the Ocean Bus Tours. I really enjoyed it actually. Held my attention throughout and yeah, we all had a lot of fun. Also the bit where it hits the water is really, really fun and yeah, quite exhilarating. So if you're a bit of a thrill seeker, I think you would really enjoy it. Come into the botanical garden which is just across the road from where the boat bus drops you off outside the Grand Theatre and it is beautiful in here I mean it's a lovely autumn day so the sun is shining all the leaves look absolutely stunning there's loads of lovely orange colors and we've come to the glass house now for a look around this I think has been inspired by Alexandra Palace and it's free to go inside so let's go and take a look do double check the opening times, but I think it's open every day between 10 and 4, and this was fantastic. I think it is so brilliant that this is free. It's a really lovely space to wander around. There's loads and loads of different plants to look at. There was an area at the top with tables and chairs that you could go and sit at and relax. And yeah, really lovely space to walk around. I think a great place you could go to on a rainy day as well, or if the weather wasn't too great. And you could definitely spend, you know, at least a good half an hour in here enjoying all the plants. Well worth a look in there if you get the opportunity. It's very centrally located. The surrounding gardens are lovely. After that it was beer o'clock and Bee Bar, which is in kind of the shopping area of the city, was a great spot to have a drink outside with the heaters. They also give you blankets and throws to keep you warm and just a great place to sit back, relax and do some people watching. to Haga which is a charming area of traditional wood buildings and cobbled streets and it's home to a 17th century fortress. It's full of cute little shops, candlelit cafes and cosy pubs with terraced courtyards and has a really nice bohemian vibe. I loved this shop called Rum for Inspiration. It had so many nice bits and pieces in and beautiful Christmas decorations and ornaments too. From the cobbled streets of Haga you can take a walk up to the 17th century fortress which is called Skansen Cronen. Of course it wouldn't be one of my vlogs without a walk up a hill. It's up quite a lot of steps but you do come up to the most beautiful view across the city and this evening we have a beautiful pink sky as well. And look who came to say hello on the way down. I actually watched a few vlogs on Gothenburg before coming on this trip and I saw this cat in another vlog so maybe this cat is famous here I'm not sure but he certainly likes to hang around these steps so look out for him and let me know if you visit Gothenburg if you see this cat too. After all that walking it was time for dinner at Moreno Pizza which was a fantastic pizza place. It's actually said to be the world's largest pizza hall and they do some lovely pizzas. It was pretty reasonable. Make sure you go up to the washrooms to get a fantastic view back over the hall. They also have a rooftop bar area which I think would be great in the summertime. And yeah, really lovely pizza and pretty reasonable too. Then it was time to head back to the hotel, taking in the lovely lights around the city and taking the ferry back across the water. Can you guess what animal these cranes are known as? Let me know in the comments. That is the tallest building in Gothenburg and just below it, you could see the hotel there. 
I am back at the hotel after a fantastic day of sightseeing and I've come up to the rooftop spa. We have a relax up here in the outdoor hot tub and just enjoy the fantastic views across to Gothenburg, across to where we've been exploring all day. We've done over 20,000 steps, so the warm water feels very nice after that. Good morning, it is the final day here. There's time to do a little bit more sightseeing. When I say sightseeing, I actually fancy having a little look around the shops today. So I think I'm gonna head back into Haga, have a little browse around there. Because I only managed to go into like a couple of shops yesterday and they did all look lovely. I've also spotted a second-hand shop, so maybe we'll swing by there as well. And I've heard that they do these giant cinnamon buns here that are meant to be amazing. So hopefully we'll be able to get one of those too. But it's a bit more of a gloomy day today. Day. It's quite chilly as well. The air feels very fresh and kind of a little bit damp. I'm just taking the free ferry across now. Just going to enjoy a final few hours here and it'll be time to head back to London Heathrow. Oh, I went to reception and asked about booking a taxi to the airport and they said it's actually better to use Bolt or Uber. Now I didn't know that Bolt or Uber existed here so that's good to know because it is significantly cheaper. And also one more tip I wanted to mention, it's been really difficult to spend any of the cash that we exchanged here. Most places do not take cash I have found on my travels so yeah if you do have one of those cards that are free to use abroad it's well worth getting one of those and bringing it with you this is one of the oldest buildings in the city which is now used as a craft center so well worth a visit I would love to see this around Christmas time I think the decorations were just starting to come out I didn't take one but the trams are meant to be a really good way of getting around the city and if you like your shopping you will be spoilt for choice. There were so many fantastic shops around the city centre. I even spotted Ikea. into Haga where you can spend hours wandering around these cute cobbled streets. Loads of lovely shops. I couldn't resist this one with all the cat things inside it. And one of the most famous things here is the Café Husserun, which is home of the Haga Bullen, which is a giant cinnamon bun. They're really, really big and delicious. They have crystals of sweet crunchy sugar on the top. I highly recommend getting one. You could eat one to yourself. We actually split one between four of us, but they are so yummy, really nice with the coffee. When you go in here, make sure you look up at the beautiful ceiling and chandelier. And also in the back room, there's some wallpaper with a historic photograph of the cafe from back in the day. And if, like me, you love window shopping, then just sit back, relax, and enjoy these window displays. I mean, felt animals, what is not to love? <laughs> found a second-hand shop. Let's go and take a look. Well, I had to be very restrained in here looking at all the amazing Christmas ornaments that they had in this second-hand shop. It was just on the outskirts of Haga. They also had a really nice homeware department and quite a lot of fashion too, but I was really interested in all the Christmas ornaments and I did pick up a couple. One of them actually came home on the seat next to me on the aeroplane. It was so precious I didn't want it to break and I will be sharing both of the items that I picked up in a haul coming soon. One of them is in the footage. You've seen it already. I wonder if you can guess which item I chose. We also popped into this food market. I would definitely like to spend more time here next time if I had the opportunity, but it was nearly time to head back to catch the flight home. Mm -hmm. 
Well, it is nearly time to jump on the ferry back to the hotel to collect the luggage and head to the airport. So I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. As promised, I said I would share the price of this trip and I've just had a check and it came to £430. That's based on two people sharing. So uh, £215 per person, which I think is incredibly good value considering British Airway flights that included the luggage allowance and that fantastic breakfast and the fabulous hotel stay. I did add on the breakfast. There was an option to book it for a little bit cheaper for room only but it worked out much better value to pay a little bit more for the breakfast at the hotel and have a really good breakfast there than it would be to buy breakfast out and about in Gothenburg. It's meant to be quite pricey here. I thought it kind of compared to kind of London prices just to give you a steer on things like food and drink and getting about. But I've loved this city. I would definitely want to come back here to spend some more time here. The vibe is really relaxed. It's so nice to see a city as we're sort of heading into the festive period and everything still feel quite chill. I think they do the kind of winter time really well here. If you're into your hugger, is it? Or, um, you know, you're kind of like your cosy, candlelit, twinkly lights, all that kind of vibe, I think you would really love it here. And I've noticed they're just starting to put the Christmas decorations up too. So I think in the next couple of weeks, as we go to the end of November and December, it's gonna be magical here. I would have absolutely loved to go to the historic theme park here that's also in the city center. That does have um, restricted opening hours, but it does open for the Christmas time. So I think that's meant to be really magical around Christmas time. So definitely something to take a look at and maybe book in advance if you can get tickets for that. The other thing is just to sort of check when things are open, um, check um, all your timings and stuff because some things are just open on certain days. So it is worth, if you're here for a short amount of time, just doing that little bit of research before you go. Things like the ferry crossing, the trips that we booked all run to pretty tight schedules here, which I like, they're very efficient. So yeah, it's well worth doing a little bit of research. But if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new here for new videos every single week. And I We'll see you very soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.